above all love each other very deeply and what is this love that is the third question which arises in our mind now let me read that for you from first corinthian chapter 13 verses 1 to 7 sister please write down please please first corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 7 if i speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love i am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal now the thing is that many times there are many people in your family very devotees they say many novenas they say many rosaries they, they go for holy mass many times a day they read lot of bible they do all spiritual activities but no love they are headache in the family i know many family the mother is very devotee or father is very spiritual or brother is very spiritual and that particular spiritual person is headache for everyone in the family because no love bible says that these are clanging you know it is only making noise like you, you must have seen small children brings all the plates and make some noise cut 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 you know that's it even few days before i know a family i live inside divine rooted campus rooted center in english section uh, of course we have our own uh, ngo called the philokalia foundation but i live in this same campus so i know a family and that family is not talking to another family so they this both families are fighting each other like Uh, mongoose and snakes every day i know and sometime i involve in their problem but i could not solve but at the same time both are walking with the rosary when they are walking on the road evening when i go for work i can see they both are holding the rosary both rosaries are touching the ground and they both are walking but one will not talk to another another will not talk to this one and they don't look at each other and if they meet any one they will go and spoil the name of the other so for example this both are walking on the two sides of the road suppose if one sees me immediately will come and say so and so is like this so we don't have the love but we walk with the rosary we don't have the love but we go for holy mass we don't have the love but we say many novenas most of the time our novenas or rosaries or prayer even when we attend the mass our prayer is that god destroy that one god destroy that one that is not this is only a noise making people they have rosary here they have rosary here they have rosary here they have many saints in their body it is like a traffic jam with the saints and uh, articles but at the same time they don't have love in their heart about them saint paul says that it is like clanging cymbal kana 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 noise 24/7 i think hey, this is very applicable with most of the charismatic people i'm sorry i'm not criticizing you shouldn't take that way i know many at least uh, out of 100 or 5 to 8 people who may know that making this noise but no love in their heart maybe saint paul forcing these people that's why he wrote this earlier so first corinthian chapter 13 verses 1 to 7 says like this if i speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love i am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal if i have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge and if i have a faith that can move the mountain but do not have love i am nothing this is really serious word from bible it says if i have the gift of prophecy where you come to me i am brother mario here you come to me for the prayer i close my eye first time i am seeing you but i am able to name the grandfather of yours grandmother of yours i am able to tell their house location i am able to tell how many trees near that house and i am able to say how many rooms in that house i am able to say where your grandfather is buried the grave you know i am able to say all those things because i have the gift of vision and not only that i am able to say what is going to happen in your life and what already happened in their life you may be shocked because you know why people love to see the miracle many people calls me every day for the prayer because they think that i am supernatural if i pray if i bless all their problem will be solved many of you came here also with the same intention but here the bible says if i have the gift of prophecy and fathom all mysteries and all knowledge 
not only the mysterious things about your family if you ask me about any religion any religious scriptures if you ask me about science if you ask me about medicines if you ask me anything because i know everything i have all knowledge again again let me read it for you if i have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all the mysteries and all the knowledge and if i have faith that can move the mountain where brother mario look at this person who is having lump on the on the forehead i say in the name of jesus let it be removed and it is removed and look at this paralyzed one who is sitting in the wheelchair and say get up in the name of jesus and she is walking and i am looking at a mountain and say let it move in the name of jesus that's moving i'm looking at the sun saying stop this stopped i can do all this miraculous work a powerful charismatic person all over the world people loves me and thousands and lakhs of people comes together for the meeting because they are seeing this powerful miracle what brother mario is doing but here the bible says but do not have love i am nothing i am zero so far what the almighty god spoke to you my brothers and sisters he uses the tongue of saint paul and he wrote that through the saint paul and he is claiming it again through brother mario to you saying that if i have the gift of prophecy and i can fathom all the mysteries and all the knowledge and if i have faith that can move the mountain but do not have love i am nothing my brothers and sisters you may see many many charismatic leaders many many spiritual leaders they have all these things their prophecy is correct and their knowledge is correct and they can understand everything they can reveal the secret they can do many miracles they can move the mountains their faith is so powerful and even if they touch you will get the healings and you will get the vibrations you will get the spiritual awakening but if they don't have love in their heart they are nothing in the sight of god so the most important thing in our life is love so my brother and my sister forget about the entire families forget about the entire community forget about the entire church at least between you both husband and wife try to develop this love and again we continuously read from the first corinthian chapter 13 if i give all the possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that i may boast but do not have love i gain nothing there are many people who are ready to do all the charities they are ready to surrender everything to the lord i know many people they are ready to donate their house for the church but intention is their name there there are many people who give the money but they need their name there are many people who do hard work for the poor people but they need name you know what what happens there is no love but you are doing charity so many christians today they are doing all sorts of charity but without love in their heart again about them bible says they are nothing zero in the sight of almighty god so most important thing in our life is love and what is love verses 4 on words let me read for you love is patient love is patient if you love your spouse you are patient to him or her love is kind if you love your spouse you are so kind you are so kind to your spouse it does not end me when your spouse gain something in life you are not envy her she may have big job she may have good job she may earn more she may be more beautiful or he may be earning more he may be very healthy his family may be living in more status but no envy because you love him or her it does not boast okay my family is greater than your family my education is greater than yours you know my training is greater than yours and i am respected in society more no boast it does not proud i am greater than you wow 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 let me read it once again love is patient love is kind love does not envy love does not boast love is not proud it does not dishonor other there is no irrespect to the spouse if you have love it does not self seeking so it does not look at the comfort of husband alone or wife alone you know the comfort should be for both it does not easily anger so husband cannot trigger the anger of wife wife cannot trigger the anger of the husband because they love each other because they love 
do not easily anger it keeps no record of wrongs whatever the wife did from the day of marriage till today that record is not there in husband mind because he loves her and the wife you also must do the same because it is written here it keeps no record of wrongs love keeps no records of wrongs many women you know what they do they keep all the wrong records of the husband what all mistake his parents did his siblings did and he did and children did everything in the mind and when you come for the counseling you pour out everything my sisters if you really love your husband your spouse you won't keep any wrong things of him in your mind love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth you know what happen when your husband family get some blessing you are not envied and you are not jealous you are happy that his family is happy and the same thing with the wife family when the wife family is blessed more the husband family is not jealous because there is love in the family love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth and then next word it always protects always trust always hopes always perseveres i, I don't think that there is a, such a beautiful explanation for love in in any books on earth you read all the books or all, all the articles all the religious scriptures you may not find such a beautiful explanation for love and if someone ask you what is love you answer to should be first corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7 let me read that once again love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it does not proud it does not dishonor other it does not self seeking it does not easily angered it, it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth it always protects always trust always hopes always perseveres so this is called the love so what should be your prayer for your family lord increase the love between us when i pray law increase the law in mario and gigi and what is that law already explained if you keep this in your mind your family will be heavenly family you can lead many into truth and salvation